The next time you find yourself planning a holiday to Spain, consider the serenity and outdoor experiences that await you in the Pueblos of Madrid. Peppered with mountain ranges, sprawling meadows, and sapphire lakes, the Pueblos of Madrid boast an abundance of natural beauty. These areas offer a serene retreat for those desiring a break from the hustle and bustle of daily life. The landscape, characterized by its diversity, is a veritable paradise for hikers, cyclists, and all lovers of the great outdoors. Before setting out on an adventure through Madrid's beautiful Pueblos, it's essential to have a plan. Understanding the transportation options, selecting the right accommodation, and being aware of local customs can definitely enhance the travel experience. Here are some practical pointers to make the most of your Pueblo hopping excursion. Madrid's Pueblos are scattered across the vast province, so it's important to plan your itinerary. Factors like proximity to each other, seasonal festivities, and specific interests should inform your choices. As for transportation and getting around Madrid Pueblos, travelers are definitely a bit spoiled for choices when it comes to transportation options. Deciding between public buses, trains, or rental cars will definitely depend on your budget, comfort preference, travel style, and group size. Opting for guided tours is another way to maximize your visit while ensuring you don't miss any of the local secrets. And what's really nice about Madrid Pueblos is that you don't need to spend money on accommodation if you don't want to sleep there. A day trip is definitely sufficient to see a Pueblo. Most Pueblos from Madrid are about an hour and change away from capital by car. I recommend to rent a car for ease of mobility if you would like to visit a Madrid Pueblo next time you visit Madrid. On the contrary, if you would like to book accommodation, the Pueblos of Madrid offer a great range of accommodation options, ranging from charming guest houses to luxurious boutique hotels. Staying overnight in a Pueblo allows you to fully immerse yourself in its local communities and atmosphere, all while enjoying the tranquility once the Drake trippers have left. And if you have an opportunity to engage with local communities, definitely embrace the opportunity to interact with the community. Learn a few basic phrases in Spanish, show an interest in local practices, and definitely try to practice responsible tourism by supporting small businesses and respecting the environment. No visit to the Pueblos would be complete without a dive into the local cuisine. From hearty stews to savory pastries, Madrid's gastronomy mirrors the region's diverse landscapes and rich cultural influences. Each Pueblo showcases its own take on Spanish dishes, inviting travelers to savor the flavors that have been perfected over generations. And some ideas on how to book your day trip to a Madrid Pueblo is you can rent a car and go for a hike during the morning and then reserve in a very nice local restaurant nearby for lunch. Keep in mind, kitchens close at 4 to 4.30. The nearest airport to pick up a car rental is Madrid Barajas Airport. You can also check out Blah Blah Car for ride sharing, but do keep in mind that it's not as flexible as having your own car rental. So it really all depends on what you want to do, how you want to do it, and how mobile you really want to be. And one of the best Madrid pueblos to explore are the pueblos of Sierra de Rincón. Sierra de Rincón offers an intriguing introduction to Madrid and its pueblos and offers a bunch of reasons for hikers and nature enthusiasts to visit. The first reason you should visit the pueblos of Sierra de Rincón is the Biosphere Reserve. The Sierra de Rincón was declared a Biosphere Reserve by UNESCO due to its remarkable biodiversity and ecosystems. The second reason you should visit the Madrid Pueblos of Sierra de Rincón are the spectacular landscapes. The area boasts truly spectacular landscapes, offering a visual feast for nature lovers. And the third reason you should visit the Madrid Pueblos of Sierra de Rincón are charming small villages. Visitors can explore charming small towns such as La Iruela, Orcaruelo de la Sierra, Montejo de la Sierra, and Puebla de la Sierra. And the next reason you should visit the Madrid Pueblos of the Sierra de Rincón are the proximity to Madrid. Its location is so close to Madrid that makes it super easily accessible for both locals and tourists seeking a nature escape from the bustling city life of Madrid. And last but certainly not least are the variety of hiking trails. The region offers a great variety of hiking trails suitable for different fitness level and preferences. You can also climb in certain areas, so make sure to check that out if you're interested in climbing. As you can see, there are many reasons why adding a Madrid Pueblo to your itinerary is a must. Not only will it give you a unique and authentic experience, but it also allows you to explore the diverse cultural and historical aspects of Spain beyond its bustling capital city. So be sure to add one or more of these charming Pueblos to your next trip to Madrid. So if you're a hiker, climber, or just simply love that outdoors, I know you will absolutely love this region. It's almost spring in Madrid. It was a mere 60-ish Fahrenheit today, so definitely consider visiting soon before that big summer rush of tourism. And due to popular belief, I, on the contrary, don't recommend a European summer. It's too hot and simply way too crowded, but we'll leave that topic for another day. So thank you so much for watching and for traveling with me today. Be sure to subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!